Our final architect is Anuradha Rator, the landscape principal at Salient. As a landscape architect, my approach towards design is a little different. For me, the, the base, the, the plane that is a site, is first a, a nature's palette. And the building just cups and sit on it. So it's not about placing the building and then doing the leftover space in landscape. It's the other way around. Every time when you see, when you have a different area you're working, suppose if it is the, uh, the western part of country, it is completely different. The sunlight factor is different. You have to preserve water. And the color palette that you can play in the western region is a completely different tone. Whereas when you come to the eastern part, it's a different scale of design. Here we are playing with tropical plants, big size foliage. So you really cannot impose a design in case of landscape. You have to respect, you have to respect the base layers and then develop and grow over it. See, I move in my designs with a very high respect for nature. Suppose if you enter a glass dome, which has been beautifully planted, for first expression you will appreciate what is there. But after a little while, because of the synthetic environment, you will, you will understand that there's something missing. Now what is missing over there is the, is the sound of nature, which is the sound of birds chirping, the insects and the wind. So what I want to say here is that all these factors are very important and their proper layering, integration, so that it becomes a holistic part of the experience is what we try to weave into the device. It's about the, the sounds, you know, the trickling water of a spring, the sound of the waves of sea, the sound of the forest, that experience when you walk over the dry leaves, that amazing wrestling sound. I think all these elements together create the experience of my wanderlust. So I might not need to go to an exotic site for that, it's just that moment of connection, wherever we can achieve, inspires me. I think this initiative taken by Kohler for Picha Kucha is uh, very interesting. Uh, people across the entire fraternity come and uh, participate. And the very format that you have to actually express your ideas in 20 seconds um, makes it very crisp and brief. I think so that has the maximum impact in the entire uh, presentation. Thank you, Kula, for inviting me here on this forum. Well, as a landscape architect, my perspective is very different. I think I will be the most serious of all the presenters here. As per the research, 90% of our cherished memories are of outdoors. As a landscape designer, my quest is always to find the visual, auditory, and tactile experiences that build up these memories. Somehow, I was present at the right moment to capture the rays of light through my lenses. The courtship dance between the light and shadow is captivating. When we create something in harmony with nature, it adds its own layers. As designers, we should always set up conditions which allow for continuous change and evolution. Coming to some of the creations, view of Montana Vista landscape from the room block. The glory of morning light is able to highlight the tints and tones of the greens. Well, this design is a distill of several layers of wanderlust, I must say. Well, that's the last one. Not to miss it, I can guarantee you that the taste of this wild fruit on the way to the Gomuk was much more exotic than its looks. Thank you. Anu, I just request you to remain on stage while I request all the other architects to please join her up on stage. Kamal, Monica, Aditya and Manish. 
Uh, I think on that note, a uh, round of applause for all our speakers. Thank you very much. If I could request uh, Salil Sabanandan to please uh, join them on stage and present each of them a small token of appreciation.